is exceptional. And so I was very, very pleased with that. Um, you know, we have some running backs that are nicked up, that are banged up, and that affected some of our decision making throughout the game. Uh, a lot of situations came up in that game and short yardage and, you know, field goal fakes and, and um, midfield plays. So some of that uh, decision making was affected by the health of our team. Um, but, but overall, um, you know, our kids fought to the very, very end. Um, we need to play better defense. We need to try to eliminate the big plays. We're playing pretty good in situational football. Third downs, we've been pretty good in the conference play. Um, we're, we're, we're creeping back up the ladder in our turnover margin, which is a, which is a huge emphasis for us. Um, and after the preseason, I really sat down with the team and and tried to focus on the conference play and the statistics in the conference play and to see how good we could get in the conference and compared to the teams in our conference. And and we're making a lot of progress in those areas in, in three weeks. Um, we want to continue. Turnover margin is a big area we want to focus in on. Obviously, our offensive production is an area we want to focus in on and, um, and eliminating uh, points per game by our defense. So. All those things are really important. You know, penalties are something that we always look at as well, um, and we want to try to minimal, minimize those and and really do a good job of that as a team. Um, you know, looking forward to this week, uh, we're going to play a really, really tough team as far as the scheme is totally opposite of what we faced last week. We we went to probably the one of the top passing teams in the league to, to the top rushing team in the league. And and obviously the wishbone gives you a lot of challenges that way. So um, we're really excited to come back home. We're really excited to play in front of the home fans and, and on a short week play against a really good Air Force team. It, it certainly looks that way. You know, I really see it every day in practice with, with really can see it with our skill players. And, and um, you know, I, I was talking to Coach All today. You know, I said, I told Coach All, I said, I was pretty greedy in the preseason. And I take, I take total credit for that. I wanted us to be so good so fast. And, um, you know, sometimes I wanted to go from step one to step five. It just doesn't happen that way. I mean, we have a lot of young kids that are learning, uh, and um, they're they're learning now. You can see it, uh, especially with our receivers. Uh, you know, to to throw for 500 yards in a game and have two receivers over 100 yards, have 11 different receivers catch balls in the game. That's a real credit to to the understanding of your players, and they understand the concepts a lot better now than they did uh, two months ago, uh, and. You know, we have a lot of freshmen playing uh, on offense. Uh, you know, Dayon Henley and McLean Mannix and Elijah Cooks and, and all those kids are playing and, and they're all understanding where they're supposed to be a lot better. And you're seeing the production of, of Ty's game go up because of that. And, and uh, it's both elements working together. And that's what the passing game is. It's all about discipline. It's all about spacing and timing. and um, you know, Ty's a lot more comfortable. Um, you know, I just think Matt's done a great job with him in the last few weeks. I think he's really developing as a player. And you could see his confidence. Um, and the kids are really rallying behind him now. And and so uh, that's a really, really good thing to see. And, and, and you know, we, we have five more weeks to see how good we can be. And, and we want to continue to build on that performance. Well, there's some physical challenges. You know, we're a little bit nicked up all over the board, and that's that's a challenge. Uh, and then, you know, just the the preparation of playing against the wishbone, and and it's very different than we we played. And and obviously, we had a lot of prep uh, in the preseason, getting ready for these guys. Uh, but uh, just just the the run fits on defense. Uh, Playing the triple option, understanding how the fullback belly applies to that, you know, having responsibility for the quarterback and then the pitch, 
it's just very, very different. And, and you have to be disciplined. The run fits have to be there. And, uh, and you can't neglect the fullback. Uh, I mean, that's something that just kills you if you do. And, you know, it's amazing. You watch these guys play against Navy. You watch them play against Army, and they all run the wishbone, and they can't stop each other. You know, you'd think they'd know how to stop each other. They can't stop each other. The score's 45, 42. I mean, so it's a, it's a real challenge. And, and so we, we have to do a great job of, of really understanding what, what our responsibilities are on defense, being disciplined, and then being very physical. Um, you know, this is a tough team. They, they do what they do regardless of who they're playing against. And they do it over and over again. And, you know, they, they just kind of figure they're going to get four yards every time they run the ball. And, you know, if they get to third and two, then they're pretty happy with that. So, um, you know, we have to do a good job. You know, they have had some issues with turnovers. And that's something that we got to take advantage of. Um, and we certainly have to do a great job of protecting the ball. But, you know, we've done a good job in conference play of the turnover ratio. And, and we really got to continue to press that and improve on that. The quarterback's pretty dynamic player. Um, just talk about what you do. Just very tough, you know, to, to run the ball as many times as they do with the quarterback and, and the shots that he takes, you know, with the pitch. And it's just you have a lot of respect for a guy that can take that kind of physical punishment and keep coming at you. So very tough-minded guy, uh, runs the show. Um, handles the ball every snap, and their offense makes a lot of decisions. They they change a lot of plays at the line of scrimmage as well, um, and they do an incredible job of of time of possession, which which is something when you play this kind of offense, it's always a factor in the game. So we got to take advantage of our, our possessions and and uh, and really uh, put as much pressure on the quarterback as we can and be aggressive with him. Um, and try to force them to do what they don't like to do, which is drop back and pass. So the only way you do that is to get them in third and long, and not many people have been able to do that. So we got a big challenge ahead of us with him. Yeah, they don't throw a lot, but how – if he can get kind of rolled into stopping the run and then they can take a shot, there's, it there's no question. It's kind of like the old Nebraska teams where, you know, they pound you, pound you, pound you, and then they kill you with the pass. And so you have to be very disciplined. Um, yeah, I was just talking to Coach All about that this morning, you know, and that was one of the things he, he said and reminded me about is that, you know, they, they, they whittle away at, with you with the run, but they really kill you with a big pass. And, and um, you know, it's something that we have to be really sharp on and uh, understand and, and really play discipline and not get out of position and give them a big play. You know they're they're conventional. They play a three and four man front. Uh, they mix their coverages up, and uh, you know they play very hard and very disciplined. And and uh, you know we just got to continue to do the things that we've been doing. You know the good thing offensively is by this time of year, we've pretty much seen you know all the different defensive looks that we're going to see. So. So it's more about recognition and repetition and execution at this point of year on, on offense. So that's pretty good for our kids because they've seen most everything. And, and uh, the looks that we'll see, we've seen before. So we have to continue to press the envelope and the execution and, and try to continue to do things we haven't done. And, and that's really important. And take care of the ball. That's really huge for us offensively. Um, we need to we need to find more run production than we found a week ago, um, you know, and 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 that's going to be really important. The, the the situational football, the the third and shorts, and and the fourth and shorts, and those are 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 always big in games like this, and so we're going to have to do a good job there as well. How often have you gone against that offense? Oh, I think I played against these guys two or three times, and. Uh, it's always been it's always been a dogfight. Um, you know they always they always gives you a, a little challenging scheme, and they're you know they're very tough physically and they're very tough mentally, which you would expect from an academy team. And um, so you just have to you, they don't beat themselves, which you would expect. So it's really important that that you have staying power, that you're disciplined, and and you continue to work your plan. 
and um, and that'll be important this week as well. I mean, I think I think he's absolutely earned the opportunity to continue being our quarterback, and and uh, and I think he's just scratching the surface now of what he can do. Um, you know, throwing accurately and being comfortable is is a huge part of this offense, and and he's really showing that he can make the decisions. Um, you know, he's starting to read all the way through his progressions where. At the beginning of the year, he was just kind of looking for an open receiver, um, and I and I think maybe in the early in the year he was pressing a little bit, and and I think that comes just from experience. Uh, but he's really settled down now, and and uh, you can just see him in his footwork. He's very calm and methodical about going through his reads, and I, I said that to him uh, uh, two weeks ago, and and uh, you could just really see it in practice and. And we chart him all the way through practice, and he's throwing the ball incredible in practice. Um, and it's starting to correlate into the games now. And I think the biggest thing that you're seeing is that he has confidence in his receivers of where they're going to be. Uh, I, I think early in the season, you know, we, we were a little bit off, you know, at wide out. We'd had a young guy playing here, a young guy playing there, and they just wouldn't see the coverages the same way. And that was just – lack of repetition. So now that we've gotten those repetitions and our kids understand where they're supposed to be, I think Ty is so much more confident in his decision making because he knows the guys are going to be there for him. There's been undeniable progress on offense. Are you seeing that on defense? You know, I, I, I'd like to say yes, but I, I can't say that right now. And, you know, I just think, I think we, have to, we have to shore up the big play. I mean, we're doing a pretty good job on third down. We're, we're, we're starting to get some takeaways. Um, we're playing respectable run defense. Um, but we're just giving up too many big plays in the passing game. And that's frustrating uh, because it's really not, uh, you know, and, and the man-to-man -man plays, that's going to happen sometimes. You know, when you play somebody man-to-man -man and you – it's one on one, and a guy makes a great throw and a great catch. Those are are going to happen, but it's the it's the mistakes that we're making in pass uh, in in zone coverage that are a real problem, and we've got to shore that up. We got to make better decisions. We got to get off blocks better on screen plays, and and limit the runs after the catch. And uh, if we can con make some improvement on that in these next five games, I think we can really. Uh, give ourselves a, a competitive edge in these games. So that's, you know, we have to do better there. And, 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 you know, we're trying to exhaust every competitive advantage we can in our roster, you know, moving guys around, you know, we're, we're looking at who we can play where, um, whether it's offense, defense, whatever. And, and so, you know, we'll tweak that as much as we can at this point of the season, but we've got to get more out of what we've got right now. I, I think Anthony will be available this week um, in some kind of limited role. Cliff played very well and is showing a lot of confidence. Um, and that's a good thing for us. And then as we get Anthony, that'll just increase our depth. Um, but, but Anthony should be available this week. And, you know, we got a lot of guys that are nicked up this time of year, like a lot of teams do. And we're just going to have to, the next guy's got to step up and do a good job. You know, Hankins, uh, he was down on scout team against us on offense, and he just kept whacking us and hitting us, and we couldn't block him. And and I just had to send him – I sent him on the other end to the defense because that's exactly what we're looking for on defense, a guy that defeats blocks and makes tackles. And we also plugged him into special teams. He's been down on kickoff. He made a big hit on the kickoff last week. And that's what we want. You know, we've we've – in the short amount of time I've been here – you know, some of our walk-on kids have really made a contribution to the team. You know, Trey Carter Wells has done a great job, um, and and Anthony Hankins is one of those kind of guys. He's just really aggressive, very physical, loves to play, and uh, he's a guy that should start seeing some time on defense as well. Uh, 
I mean, probably not, <laughs> to be honest with you. You know, I, I just thought it was really important to show our kids confidence and, and, and that I had confidence in them. And that, um, and I probably got ahead of myself a little bit. I, I wanted us to be so good so early, and uh, you know, it's just uh, you know, it's hindsight's twenty twenty, and and I take a hundred percent responsibility for that. But I think our kids uh, have learned. I think that we've made great progress in a lot of areas, and um, and I think it should continue. You know, and and uh, I've really appreciated how this team has practiced. Um, you know, as a coach, practices everything, and we have practiced extremely well. And I just, you know, I really, I've said it before, I really think something's special in store for this team because of the way it practices. And, uh, you know, and we got five games left. You know, I expect our seniors to play the f five best games of their career. You know, Corbett and Wyatt Demps and Austin Paulus. We've gotten great effort from our seniors. And, and I think that's a reflection of the attitude of the team. And, um, you know, I look at those guys every day in meetings and I tell them, I say, you got five games left in your career. They should be the best five games you ever play. And, um, and, and the rest of the guys need to reflect that as well. And so we'll just keep uh, continuing that, that effort. And, you know, we got another great opportunity this week. Thanks, guys. tough and physical team uh, that would be that would be the challenge I mean they play very hard you know mentally tough and physically tough they want to run the ball the whole game so you can say they're pretty tough what's it like going up against the triple option where anyone's running play and you give them a guy who can run the ball uh, it's not fun <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you have to do what you got to do and uh, try and get the W <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what they're trying to do is just uh, uh, distract, not distract you, but uh, make you take your eye off your man. And that's how to make like a lot of big plays. But you just have to uh, trust the coaches and uh, just do your assignment and just do what you're told to do. And then as long as everyone does that, then we, we, sh we should be good. Do you guys do anything different with that one last day of preparation for this week, for this game? Uh, I feel, I feel like everyone is just more focused. Uh, everyone is practicing harder. Um, that's been our mentality the whole season. But uh, that's really just it, just more focused and just practicing hard, you know, just watch more film. Yeah. Uh, just enjoy every moment, enjoy every day, enjoy every practice, enjoy every time I get to spend with my teammates. Uh, I mean, like, we have guys like Virgil Green and, you know, uh, I forgot his name, but, <laughs> you know, Zach, you know, they always talk to us, you know, during the Wolfpack walk, you know, that he goes, he goes by fast, you know. I, just, I remember I was a freshman, like, yesterday, you know, I'm already a senior, but I'm just trying to enjoy everything and, you know, take it one day at a time and just, Enjoy time with my teammates and just everything that I can. I know the majority of the guys on defense haven't played here, of course. I know you, you got to that game a few years ago, but you guys did play Cal Poly last year and they run a similar offense. I mean, is that helpful to you going to this game that you, you know, at least seen this kind of live in a game? I mean, it's helpful because you know what to expect, you know, but it's nothing compared to Air Force. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember a lot from that Air Force game in 2014? I do remember, yeah. You know, I mean, just round and pound, you know, I mean, you the whole game, you know, that's
cut you, run, get up, run, 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 run. You know, they want you to run too. They want to break you down, basically, you know. It's all about who's going to be mentally tough. That's all about it. Is this more of a mental test than a physical test going against a team like this? I say mentally. Mentally, I mean. Because physically, every player, every other team, you know, I mean, everyone, you have to be physical to play football, you know, but I think it's just more mental. Yeah. Of course, everything's tenable still, you know. Uh, we can still get to the Mountain West Championship. We can still go to a bowl game. We still all believe that, you know. We still practice like it. We still play like it. We still watch film, you know, and, and you know, weight, lift weights like it, you know. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I think it does. Um, I mean, I kind of understand their whole mentality and what they're trying to do and how they block certain defenses. So, um, yeah, I think it does a little bit. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's still a challenging offense to go against. So um, we have a tough week ahead of us. Yeah, Cal Poly and um, New Mexico. I think you know um, New Mexico is very similar. I mean. They're running out of the same type of uh, formations, but they, they run the same plays. And so, um, yeah, I think we've, you know, the older guys have gone against it a little bit, and we'll be able to, um, you know, kind of draw back on some of that stuff, and hopefully it helps us this week. How have you engaged? How do you guys deploy running this year? I mean, certainly significantly improved. Um, I think it's up and down. I think in certain areas we've gotten a lot better, and I think, um, you know, Kind of, you know, specifically us in the back end, we, I think we uh, we have a lot more potential. And I think, um, you know, I think we'll be a little bit better um, in the upcoming weeks. And hopefully that shows. How important is it not to get, forget about the past in this game, not to get, you know, to get run, 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 and not give up the big play down um, that's, that's kind of like, the, you know, this whole story of um, being in the back end because, um, I don't know, they have, uh, per completion is something like 20, 22 yards, 20 yards. So, I mean, that's kind of how they, they get a lot of defenses is by, um, you know, like Coach said, is lulling a lot of defenses to sleep and um, hitting you over the top. So um, they're pretty good at that. Their quarterback is very efficient, and I think he runs the offense pretty well. Did you get playing any quarterbacks this week? <laughs> no, I, that, I don't think I'll be able to do that one this week. Uh, okay. Last time I was able to do that was my redshirt year, but since then I haven't. No. There's only two guys on the defense, Patrick and Jaden, have actually played against Air Force in this game. I know you look forward to every game, but it's you know Air Force kind of a special team. It's a game you look forward to because it is such a mental and physical challenge. Um, I don't think so. I mean, uh, like like you said, I think Cal Poly was pretty much you know spot on. You know what they do, they do the same things, and um, it's just different. You know different uniform and different school with different guys. But I mean, the, the scheme is going to be the same. And I think a lot of us has faced it. And, you know, I think that that, that helps in the long run. Yeah, it's just tough, to, but you know, that's the nature of football. I mean, you have, you have, you know, 80 plays sometimes in a game and you know, you can be right on 75 of them, but those five can, you know, cost you a game. So, you know, we have to work every day as, as a defense to try to eliminate those things. And you know, hopefully we, we can try to get rid of those, you know, in this upcoming week. Um, I think, you know, like you said, I think he is a, a, a very good piece for this offense. He's very tough. Um, he's he's a smart player. Um, he does what he needs to, and um, I think he takes what the def he does a good job of taking what the defense gives him. Um, he doesn't try to, you know, make too much happen, and 
you know, I think he trusts the guys around him, which is uh, always necessary in, in this type of offense. Um, you know, I mean, you want to be able to see these looks as, as many times as you can because um, it's so detail orientated. Um, like, you know, everybody, 10 guys can be right, and if one guy messes up, then, you know, that could be seven points. So um, you just want to get this uh, as many looks as you can, but, you know, we'll have to make up for it by, uh, you know, watching film, um, you know, longer, you know.